Hey guys, Justin from Reaction Brewing Company here. We're going to do another unboxing with my friend over here. Um, half barrel, unit tank. A little hop slam. Um, so, we're going to get this guy unboxed. See how it uh, stacks up to its big brother back there in the corner behind it. Um, so, just quickly open this, maybe fast forward through some of this part. Let's see, we'll see how long it ends up. I know my videos they always end up three times longer than they need to be. So we'll close that guy for safety purposes. As we stick our hands through staples. So this is just an outer shell. Um, there we go. Look at that. Bam. We'll just take this big piece of paper right over here. Or cardboard right over there. There we go, we unboxed it. That's the video. Guess we'll be back later. All right. I know I'm not very funny. All right, let's keep going. We got this Chinese knife that needed to be thrown away like six months ago. Um, I did order some new ones from Amazon that should be here, be here pretty quick. They were like two dollars. You can't be nice for two dollars. Um, so open as you guys can see. Unit tank, bam. Uh, just some protective foam. That didn't work at all how we planned it. Let's see if I'm strong enough to lift this thing out. Oh my god, it's heavy. So, ready guys? Holy crap. Nothing like hanging on to $1,000 worth of equipment with one hand. So, we'll get that out. So what we got here, just a little uh, literature. We'll open her up, see what's inside. Oh, it's already open, it's just ripped. There's the old, uh, so let's see how, what SS says. We just got some literature about their other equipment. The old SS Brutac complimentary dealy bobbers. Stainless steel prep. Pre-clean prior to first time use, thoroughly wash all surfaces, including all valves fittings with trisodium phosphate, TSP. We're gonna have a video on that. Keep, stay tuned for that. Time. So, what we're gonna do, I don't know, what do you guys wanna do? Let's, uh, ouch! So, let's see if we can take. Take this guy out. Oh, we can't take that one out. I'm not strong enough. So, we'll uh, see what we can do down here. I can already tell this video is going to be like four times longer than it needs to be. Cut the bottom, cut this, cut this, bam. So on the bottom we have some stuff. Let's get the stuffs. Woo, little condom bag. 
This is why my channel is never going to be sponsored by anybody. Another one, two valves. Ah, let's assume one for the uh, one for the bottom port, and one for the racking arm. I mean, there's multiple reasons why I'm never going to be sponsored by anybody, but that's one of them. So, take that crap out. Get that out. And throw that down. Here's another one of those plates I don't use. These are, they're nice. They're, I mean, if you're, if you want a plate for, uh, sorry guys, setting your um, little canister of star sand. Sorry, they're awesome. So let's carefully cut this tape. Packing foam. This thing is packaged pretty nice. I'd have to watch back to see if uh, my other one had that um, protection around it. So I can't get this out. So we are going to have to use some camera magic pretty quick. But uh, so again, I'm not going to put this on on camera because they're freaking unwieldy and they're hard to put on. So we got the neoprene condom for it. And we have, come on boxes, two boxes full of goodies. Let's see what's in the goodies. Let's cut this guy open. I try not to destroy my stuff, so like, that was a good word, destroy my stuff, so that if I ever sell it, I can package everything back up. And the people get a nice package the way it came. Um, Sam, girlfriend, hates this because that means we have 10,000 boxes laying around the house. All right, so first off, we got the three inch. Let's, uh, Spin that guy up. So, let's take this guy off. I'm a really good unboxer. Should do unboxing videos for everybody. Um, let's take this guy off. You guys know. You guys know what's in here. We've been here. We've done that. We did it today. You guys might not know we did it today. So we got the coil, and if you go back to my one barrel video, which I just shot like six hours ago, but who knows when I'll get these both uploaded. So this is what I was talking about with the uh, three inch. There's just, I mean, you could probably put one over here. I'm sure it's a lot cheaper and easier to, for them to put one here. Um, but this is what I was talking about. It's a lot easier to have the PRV over here and just have this nice six inch go down there, flat top, and no worries. Um, one of the biggest complaints I see with these Brutac unit tanks um, are like hops getting caught in here or tilt um, hydrometers getting caught in here. Um, all that stuff getting caught inside the coil or reading wrong because it's inside the coil. Well, putting a three inch to the side alleviates that, it, that problem. You have, you put your stuff here and you have the whole surface area of the rest of the fermenter for everything to go to. So, on the very, very slim chance, SS, if you're watching, hold on guys, we got some, uh, we got some more packing goodies. These big old freaking things of mold. Man, this thing is packed extremely well. Alright. Hello! Alright. So, off the chance you guys are listening, watching. Um, that. 
at least on the half barrels. I don't know how much you can do on the other ones. The three inch over here, since none of the ferrules are ever flat, just throw the three inch over here. It would be much nicer than this. You'd get a lot less complaints with dry hops. Um, and the guys, all the guys that use tilts and that fancy crap that we can't afford here. So we got some uh, feet. We aren't gonna use those. Those are not what I like. I like to put wheels on them. Um, we got PRV, bam. And we got like 50 tri clamp. Nice. These are great heavy duty fittings. These are nice. They're not the cheap, crappy ones. Um, kudos to SS for including some nice ones. Because I have some cheap, crappy ones because they're cheap. They're crappy. Um, I bought them for a specific reason. They're a lot thinner. And I have some clearance issues on a couple of my things. So I bought those because they fit. All right, let's get this guy put together. We got our rubbers in there. We got this little guy I don't use. It's the uh, temperature reader. It goes in the thermal well. I don't use those. Um, any of you guys that follow me know that I have automated fermentation. Um, we got the carb stone. We have the thermal well. We have, ooh, this has got the new style also. Awesome. New style sample tap. We got the 90 for coming off the bottom. We got one of these that fell off the 90. And we have an empty box. So let's see what's in here. You know what's in here? This is my favorite part. These are extremely nice quality gauges. I like them. SS does a very good job on these gauges. So, Sorry guys. Let's start. First first. We got our three inch. Bam. Ah. Real quick. So this is the three inch um sip cleaner for that I got with the one barrel. Bam. That's freaking awesome. Slides right in the top. We'll see how good this sip ball works compared to um, the cheapest one Amazon has. Stay tuned for that. I'll probably do a video on it. So, we'll grab this. We'll throw this together. Um, you got your in, your out. Whoa. Sorry, guys. What did I do with that? There it is. How come I always lose stuff when I'm out there? There we go. So I, I bun marking these a lot. The in is on the bottom. You want your cold stuff going in the bottom, warming up, coming out the top. Um, so we got that on. Let's put our sample tap on. Or not sample tap. Apparently I'm already drunk. Um, let's put our pressure gauge on. These are, seriously, these are very nice quality pressure gauges. I can hear my puppy upstairs, she's not impressed. So, we'll get that guy on. up we'll just grab whatever is next in the pile you guys have seen me do this before we got our nice little uh um carp stone so i run our carp stone on that side for no reason whatsoever doesn't matter um so these are all just tight from the factory these are these are really nice heavy duty i really like them um 
So we'll throw this. Sorry guys. Throw this on there. Puppy, definitely mad. So we'll just give that a little Snogger McSnoggerson. Next up, we got the, uh, maybe, we got the new style, um, the new style sample tap, so we'll zoom in. See if that focuses, there you go. So it's pretty nice. These are pretty nice units. Uh, we'll see if they work very well. Um, my other one, my their Perlick style one, it likes to stick on me. Uh, I don't know why, I clean it really well, it still likes to stick. Um, so I know this is boring watching me open sample tabs, I'm sorry. Open. Uh, Try clamps. So can you guys see that? Oh yeah, you can still see it. Probably boring watching me screw samples. Or, God, I keep saying sample tabs. Um, Try clamps on too. So next up, we got our little thermal well. I mean, it is what it is. There's not much we can say about a thermal well. It's a welded piece of tubing with a tri clamp on it so that you can measure your temperature. That's where your uh, little majiggy would go. Um, this thing, your temperature, if you just want to monitor, that's where that would go. We don't use that. We use the rotation uh, setup. So that goes up here. We'll just wrap this guy around. Tighten that down a little bit. Come back here, we'll go bada bing, bada boom, wide angle. So, next up, 90. Again, like the one barrel, I just don't have a sight glass yet. I usually run a sight glass off this. Um, but, also like the one barrel, it goes down here. And this is like the worst position to put clamps on. I always ride the struggle bus with that one. Alright, next up we got our bags of valves. They ship them in these nice little protective bags. They put uh, nice protective caps that you get on all your tri-clamp fittings. Um, one of my gaskets rolled ahead, so we'll just stick it back there. And if you throw a little lube on those, it just helps them not rip. But for the sake of video, I mean, just a tiny, like, tiny, 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 tiny bit of lube. Um, so again, this is how I like to put mine in. Um, Opposite. So when we rack out, the valve will be on the bottom, the racking arm will be up, or the tube will be up. Um, that's just the way I like to do it. I don't know why. It's just probably because I'm dumb. It's probably the exact opposite way you should do it. You should probably have your handle with your racking arm or your racking tube so you know like the orientation, but I don't know. I like to do stuff stupid because I'm stupid. So, anyway, probably should have done that before I put this, stuck this in here.
So, again, this is not like an ideal spot while you're on camera. For those of you out there in YouTube land that don't do videos, everything is 10 times harder while you're on camera. People are out there judging you, just waiting to comment on your stuff about how you're doing everything wrong. <clears throat> because there's only one way to do literally everything in brewing, and it's whatever the guy on YouTube says. So we got one. Without sarcasm, if you guys didn't catch that, there's like a million ways to do things brewing. Do whatever you like to do. There's no right way, there's no wrong way. Um, keep your stuff clean, that's all you need to do. That is the one, that's the one rule in brewing. Keep your stuff clean. After that, do whatever you freaking want. When we did our black IPA, I had no idea what I was doing. I built a recipe out of nowhere. Um, kind of, like kind of followed a guy that I, that I saw. He had a pretty cool recipe. I modified it from there. All right, butterfly valve. These are super nice. Um, I modified it, modified it from there. Um, threw in just literally random hops I had in my freezer, in my freezer. Um, when it was done fermenting, I threw in a pound of cocoa nibs. Just who knows why? I just did. It just seemed like the thing to do. And uh, so I threw those in. Threw in a freaking thing of strawberry puree and like six vanilla beans. It was delicious. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Crashed it down. It was like looked like cloudy freaking black diarrhea. So I poured a bunch of biofine in there. You know, I measured it all out by tipping the bottle over. Cleared up, it's freaking awesome. It looks like a style, it tastes like a tropical IPA with strawberry, chocolate, and vanilla. All right, guys, what do we gotta do next? Oh yeah. Ah! Can't do it. All right, guys, didn't go anywhere. I had this right here with me all along. It's definitely the wrong size. But we're gonna make it work. Okay. Take off these things, put them in your pile of 9,000. Tap, you have, blow off. You know what I'm missing? There's no valve in this one. I just realized that. I wondered why I had an extra fitting. There's no valve. Let's see if we can find the valve. So this goes here. Thread these in. Uh oh, I lost the uh, rubber tightener upper thing. Do you guys see where it went? Uh oh. That's why I don't take the rubber tightener upper side out. So, we'll just snub that up there. Um, where the hell did that valve go, guys? I know there's another valve. So we'll tighten that up. There should be a rubber tightener upper thing in there. I don't know where it went. That one, that was there. I just, uh, that one I dropped. I don't know what I did with it. It'll be around here somewhere. We'll find it. All right, let's find, uh, there we go. <laughs> All right. I know. So, you guys know my feelings on this, because I know you watched every video I've ever made. And uh, I hate these threaded things. They're freaking junk. Um, but it's what they give you, and it's what we're going to put on today for this video. Again, SS, if you're watching, which I know you're not, because why would you be watching this channel? There are so many other channels out there. 
can put a tri-clamp on the other side of this thing. This threaded thing, nobody wants that. They want a tri-clamp. Tri-clamp nipple on this side. Nobody wants a thread and a nipple on this side. Stupid. Oh, sorry guys. All right, so. This is not going well. I can't believe anybody's still watching this by now. That's, it's remarkable if you are. All right, bam, done. All it needs is not the feet. It needs the wheels put on the bottom, it'll be done. So let's talk about it. Um, oh crap. It's not done. So, if you guys have these or you're interested in buying one, they're great pieces of equipment. I freaking love them. Um, I'm trading out all my other equipment for unit tanks. Make sure you clean this rack, your blow off arm. When you're cleaning, when you're doing your sit, when you're done, that's another nice thing to have, the tri-clamp on the bottom. Flip it down there, run some PBW through it, clean this out. When it blows off, this gets full of crap. So just don't forget, clean that out. All right, guys, so we're done. Um, the welds look nice. They're a little more undercut than they are on the one barrel. Uh, this one here has some porosity, whatever. It's not that big a deal. Um, it looks pretty nice. It's much nicer. They're both much nicer than my original uh, half barrel unit tank that came out that I got like a week after they came out or whatever. But this is a nice unit. I like it. It's very pretty. Um, if you'd like, I don't know, maybe I should wait for another video. I don't know. Here's a reward for all you guys that watched uh, through this video. Um, God dang, these things are heavy. So, <laughs> there you go, guys. One barrel, big Bertha, half barrel, little Justin. So, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, these things are awesome. I definitely recommend them to anybody. I know I have some complaints. Um, it's just, it's what you get when you get stuff from, from um, China. I don't want to knock SS on it. It's, it is what it is. You guys want stuff that's affordable. This, this, this is affordable. You guys want custom made pieces of equipment made in the United States, you pay twice as much for them. So, here you go. Really like this little unit. We're gonna get some wheels on both of these. We'll have some beer in them soon. Um, hope you guys liked this video. If you did, like, comment, thumbs up, tell me I'm stupid or whatever. Oh, hey, look, bam! Little rubber thing that goes, uh, little piece of tubing. Um, anyway, thanks for joining me, guys. I will see you soon for another brew day or another canning session.